Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time to my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much just for being you. You know, I always send out prayer and love to everybody and I hope everybody succeeds, especially on the journey they are really trying so hard to reach. So many blessings towards you on your goals and you know your blessings with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and once again thank you so much for showing the channel love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and this peaceful beautiful meditation y'all i love this meditation it's called attract abundance of wealth money luck and prosperity miracles happen while you sleep meditation i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey oka pain is not for getting over it pain is for getting through it you know there are so many times you know i've heard as a child get over it get over it and you know i used to hate that word get over it because it was just like you so loosely when it came to me but you know there's so many things that we can go through in life you know especially us as empath and indigos you know indigos have it really bad because um you go through so much pain just for you to be able to share your life experience with other people you know help them be able to see things in their life that they really choose to you know they need to look at it in a different way and different perspectives and you know it's not really of getting over things you need to really you know get through them you know it's not about that you know and there's sometimes i have to really tell myself that because there's so many things that went on into my life you know it has really made me stronger you know we get we all get tired of going through things that we go through you know can bring frustration depression anxiety you know sometimes it makes you not want to just get up in the morning you know it's just like now i'm starting to look at more things different you know i know i need to leave the house and stuff like that i'm forever in the house anytime i'm not you know doing what i need to do i'm always in the house and i know i need to stop doing that because it's like i'm still depressed so it's just like when you go through things you know nobody has an easy path nobody you know is their pain is more greater than anybody else i feel like pain is pain you know it's just you know we're going through you know uh same emotion well not the same emotions we we all have a struggle struggle in our path you know that um that has brought along pain that has brought on bad experiences to the point where people put up walls um they end up having later on in life men mental issues like you know um manic depression or, you know so forth and so forth you know any kind of depression or anxiety is really sad you know if you have somebody you can trust go ahead and talk to them you know keep your journal you know uh, monitor your thoughts you know try to meditate as much as you can you know um i try to do that as much as i can you know seek seek guidance for myself try to find peace in my heart i always pray you know there's days that you know i want to cry and there's days i do you know you're supposed to cry it out you know it's never healthy to you know um keeping your emotions i know a few empaths that are like that where they have become numb which is really not healthy you know i'll tell some people you know i tell a lot of people that especially when i know that they're doing that or they're open with telling me about that you know i tell them you really need an outlet you know a healthy outlet like this i i do my videos you know i let y'all know you know I, I go through things too you know um there's days that i tell people not to give up on days i've been wanting to give up myself so you know i have to tell myself the same thing you know you can't just tell people that and you don't believe it in yourself you know um i you know that when you go through things your your pain has a, a purpose you know that you know let me see how you want to say that um 
your pain has a reason. It has a purpose for going you going through the things you're going through. You know, sometimes, you know, we feel like God is just like, why is he not hearing me? I used to say that a lot. I used to say, you know, God got me on mute, you know, because it's just like, I'm just still going through the things I got to go through, but it's just like all how you look at things, you know, and sometimes when you're pissed off, it's hard to really see the positive perspective of the things that are happening to you and why they're happening. You know, we can lose loved ones. Um, you know, we can lose our children, uh, you know, lose our job. You know, there's so many people right now going through this government shutdown that, you know, it's really pitiful, you know, it's sad. And going through all these different things is it, just enough. You know, when people got to go to work and not get paid, I'm just like, oh, hold up. I, I'll come back when y'all start paying me well, because I'm not working for free. I'm not about to do that, you know, especially if you're, you're at, you know, you're at jobs that you really don't enjoy. You know, there could be people um, that tell me, Rosalyn, I just lost my job and this and this and that. I said, the first question I asked them, were you happy with this job? And they were like, no, nah, I really wasn't. And I said, sometimes we, we go through things and we lose that job because it was just like, you know, we weren't happy with that job. We were just there just to support our family, just to pay our bills. But it's just like, it's kind of hard to enjoy something if you, you know, it's kind of hard to be in, in a place you don't really enjoy. So it's just like, you know, I tell people sometimes, you know, well, all the time, you know, when you lose your job and stuff like that, if you aren't happy about it, you you already know if, if you didn't get fired, you'll still be there complaining, dread to come to work that next day. I've been at jobs where I hate it. You know, oh, God, i got to go back to this dad on hell hole today. You know, and I might be frustrated or pissed off because I might have lost my job. You know, universe will usually, you know, universe and God will usually, you know, make things happen in your life to where you lose that job for you to be able to go towards the thing that you enjoy. Like, you know, there's jobs I just don't like because it's just certain things the way people are, you know, is done. Especially, you know, I've been at jobs where, you know, everything was fine and dandy until they found out who I was related to. And they use that to their advantage to try to rattle my feathers all the time. And I'm just like, why are people like that? You know, but I have to try to tell myself you can't take it personal about how people do you. It's just, you know, people struggle to love themselves all the time. You know, so people go out their way to pinpoint your flaws, to pinpoint your, you know, the things that you do or whatever. But it's just like, don't try to fixate on trying to get over things like that. You know, I, I had to hear that message today. You know, you have to get through it knowing that, you know, better days are coming for you. This too shall pass. You know, I hear a lot of people, you know, with their, you know, their comments. And I really feel for them because I can feel their energy through their words, you know, knowing they've been through so much hell. And they're just like, when am I going to get my break? I've, I've been like that. I've been there, you know, I'm like, God, when am I going to get my break? But it's just the fact is, um, I had to look at it like, you know what? You go through things, you go through them. Um, and then it's just the fact is I come up with that content. You know, sometimes I, you know, there are a lot of times my pain has come from my, my content that I make on here and just knowing, you know, letting that empath or that certain person know you're not never alone. You know, even though there's days that you feel like you're alone at times, and you feel like nobody cares, you know, we're all going through our things, you know, it's not like, you know, I don't want to say that nobody cares, but you know, a lot of people dealing with their own stuff, so they can't sit up here and worry about the situations you're going through along with theirs too. But it's just like, you know, I've been there, I've, you know, I've been that listener. And I try to tell people, you know, look at it from this way, you know, when they're, you know, they can be pissed off about it. And I have to tell myself that too. I have to calm down because it's just like we make rash decisions and our emotions is really not good. So it's just like I had to look at the things that I was going through and I'm like, you know, I hated what I was going through. But look at how many positive points it has brought out, you know, with my situation. It's like, look what I'm doing. I'm making these videos and a lot of, I'm helping a lot of people that I didn't realize I was helping, you know, grateful for all these things that, you know, this is what I want to do. This is what I love to do. It doesn't feel like it's a job. It doesn't, you know, there's days I might be tired or whatever, or if I'm aggravated, like I've told y'all before, if you've been with me for a while, I tell y'all if I'm feeling some type of way and it's taking a minute for me to get out that vibe, I don't want to make a video on that time because I don't 
don't want that kind of vibe projecting towards anybody else. Because with y'all empaths, y'all soak up everything I feel. You're like, oh my gosh, Roger, you look so relaxed or you feel so peaceful. And I, that's what the kind of vibe I want to be able to, you know, push out into my videos. You know, I don't want to make videos based, you know, over trying to get over something. And I always told myself, you know, you need to get over this. You need to let it go. But it's just I had to get, I had to turn that mindset around. It's just get through it. It's a day by day process. You know, don't beat yourself up over it if you're not able to get through it like that. But just gradually letting things go, do things that keeps your mind off of that situation. And that's why I have to start doing. So it's just like when you're so much in your head, you know, it brings on those ne negative patterns. Your ego starts running everything, you know, you know, running everything in your mind, you know, putting those negative thoughts in your head giving you these things make you want to give up make you want to just lose out on life you know all these things happening because it's just like i tell y'all devil and darkness don't want to see you happy they want to or they want you to go towards that situation you know that i know there's a lot of videos that people be making about the mj mk ultra stuff and people just you know giving up stuff just to be able to look you know be in a certain spot in their life get all that fame and all that junk it's just so many di different things i'm just like you know i never know so it's just like i know that was like an add moment y'all don't mind that but <laughs> i don't jump the whole subject but it's just like going through all the things you got to go through don't say tell yourself get over it don't beat yourself up if you you know it takes you a minute but if you just telling yourself you know what look i'm a work in progress i'm doing the things that i need to do and i'm going to get through this so, you know, take give yourself that time. Be patient with yourself. Love yourself. You know, do things that are therapeutic that, you know, keeps your mind off of the things that you're, you know, you're, you, you need to let go of. Because if not, you're in your head space. It, it, it can really mess with you. So I hope you are able to, re you know, resonate with this video. I love y'all so much. You know, um, send out much love and light to everybody infinite abundance and healing abundance and uplifting whoever really truly needs it know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and my post notification shout out let me see who i'm gonna call out today um chris christina well christine uh flarity much love to you i missed you and mimi much love to you as well and I will see y'all in my next video. Have a blessed day. We can be responsible for everything you do. And, you know, how about the next person that, you know, that you feel like it needs help or you see that needs help. You know, blessings can go a really long way. So I will talk to y'all later. Much love. Peace. And be wild.